Welcome back to another video, guys. As you can see behind me, we are back at King's Dominion for a very hot day here at the park. It is 90 degrees outside, but we're about to go inside and have some fun. And we make our way into the park. Like I said, it's a really hot day here at the park, but I wanted to come over, have some fun, ride some coasters. There's a particular ride that I've been wanting to ride, which is the Boo Blasters ride. Um, I, I'm, I've always been a, fi a fan of like dark rides and like shooters, like Men in Black and uh, Buzz Lightyear. So I want to test it out. I've never actually ridden this ride before. So I want to kind of ride it and compare it to those other rides and then as well get some roller coasters in. Maybe do a little bit of a food vlog as well. We'll see, let's have a good time. And check it out, they gave me a physical gold card. It says Eddie on it. Hopefully that doesn't have information that you guys could use, but yeah, I finally got my official gold card. Before this, I was just using what was on the app and then check it out. We got the entrance right here with the tower and the fountains. Big fan of this entrance. All right, so. We are making our way in. I, I gotta admire this entrance and this, these fountains each time I come in. It's a really nice entrance and luckily enough with the shade, it's not too bad in here. Virginia is hitting its summer months and it gets pretty hot, but we're gonna have a blast anyway. I wore light colors for that same reason. Last time when we were here, I didn't get to ride Dominator, so I, I think I'm gonna try to ride Dominator. Twisted Timbers, for sure, it blew my mind. It was my first ride last time that we were here. And like I said, Boo Blasters, I wanna try that out. It's a dark ride, big fan of dark rides. Um, and I think right here, Grain and Grill is a new restaurant establishment. So I wanna check that out as well. Give you guys a little review of what the food's like in there. Not sure if it's a sit down or like a grab and go, but we'll check it out later, probably on our way out of the park. And here it is, Grain and Grill. Like I said, we'll check it out a little bit later, but they do have their menu posted out front, so garlic herb chicken, beef sirloin, crispy hoisin pork, grilled chicken, a lot of good stuff. I like the sides, stir fried vegetable, three cheese, aung gratin, whatever that means. Then you got some beers and whatnot. So I think we'll definitely be checking them out a little bit later. I gotta gain a little bit of an appetite because I just had breakfast not too long ago. And given what, it, what the menu is, it does sound like it may be a sit down, but no, I think it's a quick grab and go, we'll see. I'm not sure if today it's open, last time it wasn't, but if it is open, I will be giving you guys a aerial view of the parks from the top of the Eiffel Tower. They also got this stage set up over here. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any shows today. I'll check the app later, um, but it does look like it's set up for something. Dominator is over this way. We're gonna see if we could get a quick uh, locker so we could put everything away, put you guys away and get a ride on Dominator. You see it over there in the distance. Now for those coming with kids, know that there is a height check right here you could use this right here and it'll tell you like different colors and as well as what rides your kids will be able to ride so you could set their expectations and not you know disappoint them when they get to a ride and they're turned away because they're not tall enough and then we make our way through dominator over there in the back it does look like it's running um one one thing to note is that as you can see there's some people with masks and some people without masks I asked at the front, masks are now completely optional, both indoor and outdoor. So just so you know, if that's something that you're interested in, I just thought I'd note it really quick. Seems like we're moving in the right direction as far as, you know, where we're coming from, from 2020. And I completely lied. It looks like Dominator is down, so it can continues to evade us each trip we'll see if maybe later we come back and give it a second try I really do want to ride it before I leave today but last time around couldn't find a locker this time around it's down all right now given that dominator was down I want to show well I want to take a quick look at that myself to see what is up and what is down what are the wait times um, and give you guys a quick look at what the app looked like when you're here in the park 
it will give you all the wait times. Um, when you're not in the park, it won't give you all the wait times. It'll say wait times will will pop, um, will populate once you're inside of the park. But you got different things here. You got your shows and events, rides and wait times, and then you can buy tickets as well. And also just look at the map. But I want to take a look. Let's see, Berserker. Berserker's down. Dominator down. See, it's already showing it, and it just went down. Let's see, Boo Blasters. Where are you? There we go. Boo Blasters on Boo Hill is open, and it's a four-minute wait. So we might head over there very soon, or maybe save it for on our way out because it is kind of the ride that we came for. This is a cool ride as well. Seven minutes, the Blue Ridge Tollway, which is just like a little like trolley car type of thing. Let's see if Twisted Timbers is doing okay. Anaconda is another one. Fifteen minutes, not bad. But yeah, you guys get the get the point. Um, and you could also save your annual passes on here as well as your reservations because right now they are still by reservation. So Twisted Timbers is a 20 minute wait. Well, let's go check Twisted Timbers out. And then once you decide which ride you want to go to, you could actually tell it to guide you there. And as you can see, it mapped out my route and it'll show me as I walk the progress that I make towards. It's like a map quest. I just took a look, it does look like once again, the Eiffel Tower is closed, so it evades us, but I promise you, we got the gold pass, we're gonna be back plenty of times. Stay tuned for plenty of King's Dominion footage. We're gonna be back for all of their holiday events, their haunt, their Christmas event, all that stuff. So don't worry, once it's open, we will be up there and I'll give you that aerial view. Here's a quick look at the Blue Ridge Tollway, which is a cool little family style ride. I may try to ride it, a little bit later because the wait times are actually very low um, but as you can see it's just these little like gas cars on a the track they don't go too fast but you get to maneuver around and you know it's it's a nice little area during their hunt this is actually turned into like a haunted forest well at, at least it has in the past and I look forward to hopefully this year them doing the same because it's a pretty cool part of the of the event One special thing about the parks here in Virginia is there's a lot of natural elements to it because there's a lot of wooded area. So much so that they made a whole clock out of flowers here. And it actually is telling time, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Is the time accurate? Can I, where's the, yeah, it's one, one eleven. Yeah, check it out. It is correct. Edutainment time tells you one eleven, and the clock tells you one eleven. That is correct. Let's keep on making our trek over to Twisted Timbers. I wanted to show you really quick, they have this poster here that basically works in unison, upgrade your fun in 2021. And as I showed you earlier, that is in reference to the gold pass that I have. It is a hell of a bargain. I'm not sure if it's still $89.99, but as you can see, it includes their haunt event, their Christmas event, and any other special events like, uh, like early access to any of these particular holiday events. We are almost at Twisted Timbers, but you take a look over here to the right and you got this crazy swing that goes up. Look how high this is. And then it opens up once it gets to the top. It's not even close to the top yet, but that's pretty high. I wonder how high that is. Another great thing that the app is good for is giving you facts on the rides. So it looks like this ride is 301 feet high. So those guys are up 301 feet swinging in the air. Gotta put you guys away. I'm going on Twisted Timbers. Miss me? Uh, get all my stuff out of here. Let's go. Twisted Timber in the bag. That is a must-do ride. I wanted to try it a second time because last time around we only got to ride it one time and it was my first time. I definitely thought it was an amazing ride the first time around, but this time around it just solidified it. I did get a little bit of a pain. The restraint on my lap when you're doing the air tying hills, if you're a bigger guy, is kind of tight. And those inversions give you this crazy, crazy like weightless feeling. 
but it's really hot as you can see they actually have the, an announcement for a heat warning um, a heat wave warning so I'm gonna tuck into one of the stores let's check out some of the items that they have to offer here it's the store right next to Twisted Timber so of course they're gonna have some items specific to the ride these are like apples the story behind Twisted Timbers is like it's a an orchard gone wrong or something here's also some hoodies which right now it is way too hot Kings Dominion Twisted Timber hoodie take a bite Twisted Timber at Kings Dominion and some additional stuff right here some cups hats and whatnots here's a might get Twisted Timber Spirit jersey for $59.99 I kind of like that it has like that lumberjack feel to it but I like the color Here's another Twisted Timber Spirit jersey, but this one's different. It's a, it's kind of like a sporty kind of jersey, and it is Spirit jersey. It is the actual brand, but this one is softer. It's like one of those dry fit type of like shirts that you would wear to the gym. Interesting. Do I have anything on the back? Oh yeah. Oh look, it has UPF, so ultraviolet protection factor of 50 plus. Interesting. Alrighty, so we cooled down a little bit at the store. Now it's time to make our way over to Boo Blasters, but I just wanted to point out some of the live performers have returned. You could come over here, take a seat under the umbrella, and listen to some music. Alright, so just wanted to pull up the app again. Let's take a look and see where Boo Blasters is as far as like wait and get it to navigate us there. Where are you, Boo Blasters? There we are, it is open, and it's a six minute walk doesn't have a weight but I'm sure we'll find out when we get there now as we make our way out of candy apple grove towards the boo blasters I do want to take a moment and thank all the viewers the last video that we had here at Kings Dominion we were here for the early pass holder premiere did very very well we actually ended up like breaking like a thousand views within a few days, which is not something that my videos typically do. I am trying to grow the, the channel, so I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check that video out, and I hope you enjoy today's video as well. And speaking of my last video, we talked about Soak City and when it would be reopening, which at the time was that Memorial Day weekend, and since then, that has changed. So the information on that video is now inaccurate, but at the time of that video, it was accurate. It was opening for Memorial Day weekend, but now it has been pushed back to Soak City opening June 19th. Keep an eye out on the channel. We will be back to check that out once it does open. I don't know how I've missed this every time, but towards the back of the Snoopy area, you got Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. And the line looks pretty cool. The ride does say on the app that it is open, but it looks like there must be no wait, or maybe a very small one. But I'm already liking this queue. Befitting a spooky Boo Hill Mansion, you got this bubbling water as you enter. Oh man, yeah, I, I really don't know how I've missed this. This facade is awesome. As you enter. Oh, AC. Once the measurements are checked and rechecked, every seam and joint gets a final level. The integrity of the steel is I love this ride. Well, I haven't ridden it yet. Oh, it looks like they have a lot of glow-in-the-dark elements. And here we go. You got your blaster. And then we're entering Boo Hill. Whoa. So all the shots are interactive. Does different things. Oh.
Yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, give me something. Come on. Scary tonic. Ah! Oh! Is that it? Scoreboard master. I got. 630, not sure how good that is. And that's the ride. Alrighty, Boo Blasters in the bag. And that is a really cool ride. I'm a big fan of the dark rides. The shooting shooting element is awesome. It's almost like mixing Haunted Mansion with Men in Black. Because you get that Haunted Mansion vibe with all the ghosts and everything, but you also get Men in Black, very interactive. And all the, the shots that you get give you points, but also they, they make a reaction like something pops out and scares you or something falls over. So a ride that I would definitely come back and see again. And I'm surprised to this point, I never have ridden it, but I love it. Check out this kid zone wooden coaster. I gotta say, not bad, it's pretty cool looking. For a kid, this is a, a really good entry level like coaster. I like it. Decent drop, like 30 feet, maybe 40. And Dominator seems to still be down. I haven't seen it go off. Berserker in the distance I do see is up and running. So I think Dominator this time may, may avoid us. It's going to escape us once again. But like I said, we got that gold pass and we'll be back. But now we have gained a bit of an appetite. So let's go check out Grain and Grill. There was a few things on that menu that I thought were really good that we looked at earlier. So. Let's choose something, a drink to rehydrate, and then I think that might be it here. So let's go get that little food vlog in. I'll let you know, quick review on Grain and Grill, and we'll take it from there. And here we are, the new restaurant, Grain and Grill. It says beer and wine cocktails, hand-carved rotisseries, and locally sourced ingredients. Welcome. Let's go inside and see how the food is. Here's another look at the menu. You got entrees, garlic and herb chicken, beef sirloin, crispy poison pork, grilled shrimp, and then you got your sides. Basmati rice, local apple and radish salad, basil pesto penne, quinoa, tomatoes and cucumber. I think I might go for that crispy poison pork and maybe some basil pesto penne. Let's try that out. They have this little poster in here with all their locally sourced ingredients and where they get them. You got Virginia and North Carolina and all the different places. All right, so like I said, I got the crispy pork with the penne pasta. It does come with pita bread and a little scoop of hummus on top. And I also got the cup with free refills for the whole entire 2020 season. This is actually very expensive. I'll show you guys my receipt. I do have an annual pass, so they gave me a bit of a discount, but not much. So the food was $16.99. I don't think that's a bad price for the food that you get now. That cup was $32.99. That is pretty expensive, but you do get free refills for the whole entire 2020 season. So I am definitely gonna get my money's worth, but that's something that you should take into consideration when purchasing this because my total came out to $51.18. Now let's try out the food. It does look very good. I'll let you guys know what it tastes like. So let's do a quick taste test. 
of the port. Looks good. Yeah, that's actually really good for what I paid. I didn't think it'd be that tasty. It's a grain grill so far. Living up. Damn, it's really good, and the portion size is actually... I know this is going to fill me up. This is probably more than I, than I need. I'm going to go ahead and eat at the end. I'll give you guys my finalized review of uh, Grain and Grill, and then we'll take it from there, guys. All right, so Grain and Grill gets a thumbs up this time around. The pork was great, very flavorful, and the penne pasta was amazing. The pita bread with hummus on the side was a nice little addition that I didn't expect. The only thing is I need to get my money's worth out of that $32 souvenir cup. But I am gonna be coming to the park several times. I got it hung right here on the side of my bag, which is a nice little thing that you could do. So overall, it, it was a, an expensive first purchase because of the drink, but the food itself, $16.99 for the quantity of food that I got and the quality of food that I got, I, I think it was well worth it. For a theme park food, I'm surprised actually. I think it's a lot better than what you would typically expect from your theme park food. All right, you guys, I was just checking out the Eiffel Tower here again and it is still closed so unfortunately we are not gonna be able to take a ride on it but what I can say is that we had a great time here at the parks today hopefully you enjoyed coming along with me thank you so much to everybody who watched my last video and gave me so many comments subscriptions we are still on our mission to get past 1,000 subscribers but getting very very close so I won't have to say this many more times so if you enjoyed the content make sure to give it a thumbs up so subscribe to the channel to show your support. Every subscription goes a really long way. I messed up. I've said this so many times, I'm surprised I messed up. But every subscription does go a really long way and is greatly appreciated. Comment down below. I'm gonna be coming to the park more often, so I would really appreciate your feedback on things that you guys wanna see. I did have somebody in my last video say that they wanted to see a review of Green and Grill, which is why I did that. And then the Boo Blasters, I just wanted to check that out because I'm a fan of dark rides. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. But until then, don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained?